Gentlemen, welcome back to the room formerly known as the wife sewing. The wife is off at the Costco on this fine feather for a Saturday afternoon. I feigned a nap, but then as soon as I, well, I was up early uh, on account of it being colder than a whore's heart out there. I had to, had to snow blow. <laughs> and not the good kind of snow blowing either. So, uh, I feigned a nap, but then as soon as I put my head down, uh, I thought of something. So, I had to come down here and mess around. Now, some of you were interested in the Lissajou patterns, and this is that. A typical oscilloscope is set up so one axis is voltage and one is time, but what we can do is change that so that this axis now, instead of being time, it's another input. It's another voltage input. That gives us two inputs to mess around with, and mono sound is two inputs. That means that we can stimulate this thing with sound. I have a gander at this seat. It'll sound god awful, but not to worry. It will all be clear momentarily. Now, of course, the problem with this is it sounds like shit. Now that's cool as fuck and it doesn't look the same on a digital scope, not nearly as good. Uh, there's something retro super cool about this. Now, that was just horrific on the ears, but there's this genius, what come from Austria, has made a smelloscope music and I bought the LP here. Fortuitously, <laughs> that gear cutting Canadian wood elf, uh, what hates my guts, hey, never let, uh, never let a little friendly animosity get in the way of a good time, am I right? Uh, he's done the listed you patterns as well, but just just recently, but he's made a XY table. This is the same thing. It's doing X and Y translation. On deck side A. Turn that. Oh, no, that's not on. Would help if I knew how to use this thing. Start. <laughs> and the wiring schematic consists of a big old ball of yarn. I haven't got the monster cable yet. They're still triple centering the pixie dust for that. And I got to take out the third mortgage, but... What we got essentially is a super noisy situation here. I'm not much of an audio fool, so you probably sort of gleaned that. Uh, essentially, all we do here is we got we got the the grounds just flopping in the breeze, and we're just putting one one signal wire, one channel left channel signal wire, right channel signal wire. That's it, man. That's it. And this is just for serendipity. Fortunately for me and us, at this point, the phonograph doesn't output enough signal to, to make it sort of worthwhile, you know? We can hear it with our ears, but we can't see it with the, the scope. One of the interesting things this brings up is that you can see, you can see, it's incredible, uh, rendering artifacts or compression artifacts in the muse kick. Now, I can't hear that with my fucking industrial 30 years in industry ears, but you can see a clean signal versus a, a dirty signal and i'll link down to the guy who made this music because it's fucking mind-blowing man you can see a dirty signal of course he's got an audio setup and all that stuff but so what we're going to do instead is i'll run a line directly off of the confuser and uh, it'll be a much more powerful signal higher volume you got to crank the volume to max and then we'll see it real clear it's fucking cool man the Fart Smeller what made this uh, fantastic music for jamming out to while you're off your head on LSD, Jerobeam Fenderson, Mr. Fenderson. This is Hemorrhoids. Visually, this is one of my favorites. Triggered. <laughs> We're a little bit or Let's try something else. Make cool shit and put it on the internet. 